hi guys uh, so this is question 2.45 and uh, here we have to find out that how many distinct permutations can be made from the letters of the word infinity okay uh, so this is word this is question 2.45 and here we have a word let me write it here in infinity okay or i can also write it uh, by using different colors but let me first uh, tell you that what is the concept behind it to find the number of distinct permutations from the letters of this word okay uh, so if we have the total number of items equal to n and it is composed of the items k1 k2 k3 and here basically k1 are the number of items in k1 number of the second items this is item 1 this is item 2 and this is number of the items of the third thing okay so how can we find out here the total number of permutations here so here in that case we have to find out the n factorial divided by the k1 factorial k2 factorial and k3 factorial okay uh, similarly here you have to keep in your mind that we should have the total number of n is equal to the k1 plus k2 plus k3 okay so this is basically the what this is basically the condition for this one and this is called the multinomial law just like the binomial law in which we have only two options for each of the item but here we have the multi options for each of the item just like k1 are the number of items in the subset 1 similarly k2 are the number of items in subset 2 and k3 are the number of items in subset 3 similarly in such a way that uh, the number of the total items we have in k1 k2 k3 are basically added up into the total number of items which are n so here we have this word infinity and it is composed of some letters so how many letters uh, will i have here so the number of items i have here are basically one two three four five six seven eight okay so the total number of letters here we have are n equal to k okay similarly here we have different k's here as well so uh, let me write them here if we have here k1 in such a way that k1 is i so for i we have how many uh, items so for i i have one i two and three so we have three k1 okay similarly for the k2 let me have here k2 equal to this n okay so how many n's uh, will i have here i have one n and similarly two n so uh, this is n and here we have two n's okay uh, similarly we have here f so sorry let me use another color for it and let me use this black so this is f uh, so k3 is what that is f and how many items will i have here so i have here one item of this f and the last two are t uh, and y so uh, we can very easily see here that t is a4 and that is equal to 1 and y is k5 and that is also equal to 1. Okay. Uh, so what do I have to do? I have to write here the formulation which is here and in order to use it, we have to use it here. So let me use this one here. So the n factorial here is 8 factorial and the number of items here are k1 factorial which is 3 factorial okay multiplied by the k2 factorial where k2 is 2 okay, so 2 factorial k3 is 1 so 1 factorial k4 is 1 again 1 factorial and k5 is again 1 factorial so uh, we can also here see that 3 plus 2 is 5 5 plus 1 is 6 6 plus 1 is 7 and 1 is 8 so we can see that adding them all together i will get 8 which is basically the end so uh, this condition is already fulfilled here so simplifying it what i will get i will get here 8 factorial 
divided by 3 factorial multiplied by 2 factorial and this is what this is the answer of my question you can easily calculate it by using the calculator and that is basically the solution of question 2.45 but the uh, overall uh, scenario of this question has been made in order to let you know the concept of the multinomial law so what is this and how to find it out okay so that has been cleared here so uh, that is the solution of question 2.45 now moving toward question 2.46 uh, in how many ways uh, can three oaks seven pines and two maples be arranged uh, along a property line if one does not distinguish among three of the same kinds okay so again we have here three oaks four pines and two maples so again we have here let me have here k1 k2 and k3 okay, these are the k1s k2 and k3 and let me remove them as well so let me remove the previous question so now writing here 2.46 and already we have seen that here we have k1 is equal to 3 k2 is equal to 4 and k3 is equal to okay, so now we have the values of k's but we don't know the value of n uh, so i have previously told you that k n is basically if i want to apply the multinomial law so it should be k1 plus k2 plus k3 so there i will have here how much that would be 3 plus 7 3 plus 4 plus 2 so that would be me. Okay. So now I know uh, the multinomial law, which is n factorial divided by k1 factorial, k2 factorial, k3 factorial. So writing these values here, I will have n factorial divided by the 3 factorial multiplied by 4 factorial multiplied by 2 factorial. Okay. So uh, solving it, I will get the answer which is again the application of the multinomial probability law but here we don't know the value which was previously given okay so uh, that is basically the solution of the multinomial probability law and i will see you with some more interesting stuff in our upcoming video in which we will solve 2.47 2.48 so i will see you with some more interesting stuff in our upcoming video see you soon